Now, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to tell you a secret. And this secret, you might have noted it. Perhaps if you are very keen politically following the event, you, you might have noted it. Now, there is a game that um, Dr. William Ruto is playing with uh, Rigadi Gashagwa. And uh, it, it is coming to my realization that uh, Rigadi Gashagwa kind of compelled William Ruto to make sure that this game is played the way it is being played. Because how would you explain this? Mimi nitaka nikuje tuongee mambo ya nyumbani. Niko na mambo ya nyumbani ningetaka tuongee na nyinyi ile ya ndani. Mngetaka tuongee mambo ya ndani? Eh? Lakini mimi naona hapana. Eh? Eh? Mo malat court. Eh? <laughs> eh? Zindio? Zindio? Eh, simeona mumeambia chemtumo? Eh, masikio ni mingi. <laughs> Munataka nirudi tuongee mambo ya nyumbani? Bila hii watu ya makamera ma hawa. Unajua hawa wananifuata kila pahali. Nikiogea maneno ya ile watu wetu wale wa ndani kama nyinyi wananitangaza. Sasa ndio nimesema kwa leo, eh? Tu, Tuachie hapo, si ndio? Eh? Kwa hivyo mimi nimeshukuru sana sana. Munataka nirudi tuongee? Hao waheshimu wenu na gavana nimewalika pale Karen siku ya Jumaine rais ameniagiza tuketi na hawa tupange kazi ya mwaka wa 2024 ya Baringo County mimi nitakuwa kwa hii county nitakaa hapa mpaka muniambie niondoke Mnataka nikuje Munata... If you listen to that speech by Rigiji you can note two things number one, there is something that is targeting from the Kalenjins. There is something that is targeting from Bruto's backyard. And if that something is being targeted, then it brings me to the second point, which is the future of politics of Kalenjins will rely on Rigadi Gashagwa after William Bruto shall have completed his tenure in office. And based on that, it definitely means that if William Bruto is leaving Rigiji to make inroads, you know, in, in, a, in a very cheeky way, a very cunning way, like he doesn't want to be seen, but, you know, he's, he's, he's just penetrating, Ruto knows this very well. He's a nangangana usiku na mchana. So, uyu kipchuba musimpige sana, iko kitu, staki nionge sana, najua mambo yetu watutaki julikana sana, iko maneno inakuja. Simu melewa, hama munataka nibitisha hama? Iko, Iko, maneno na mnaii na mnaii, njini mnyamaze, mnyamaze, si njini watu wetu. Iko maneno, pole pole, pole pole, Iko kitu na, na undwa, karibu hive. Itaka tukika munaanza kuona nyoe, nyoe, nyoe. And if you can speak such statements just next to the president, William Ruto, who wants to be the kingpin of Kalenjits and be a decision maker after his two terms in office, this man allowed Rigiji so that they play this game. Now, if you look at um, this man who is being fought by Chirarge, Kepchumba Murkomen, you know, for another time, you need to know that Kepchumba Murkomen is Ruto's buddy. In fact, he's, he's the top one in the Kalenjin nation as, you know, Ruto's lieutenant. So if you are talking of somebody who will run away with the narrative after Ruto, then you will be giving it to Kepchumba Murkomen. If you want somebody who can be relied upon, besides William Ruto, it is Kipchumba Murkomen. Or do, you, do we have any other? We do not have. If somebody wants to rise up, let's assume that William Ruto is, is not present, it is Kipchumba Murkomen. That one you cannot actually dispute. And so, Rigiji knows exactly who is after William Ruto, who is the second after William Ruto in the Kalenjin nation. That is the reason why he will come up to support Kipchua Murkomen through thick and thin. And whoever tries to, uh, you know, bring rubbing shoulders with Kipchua Murkomen, Rikiji will not be your friend. Yeah. Na uyu Kipchumba anajaribu. Na kuna wengine niyona wanamukemea. Ati aji uzuru ati kwa sababu generator imekata kufanya kazi pale JKIA. Uyu kipichumba di alinuwa yo generator. Ilinuliwa na hile serikali ikide na ikuwa fake. Sasa ikijaribu kuwakishwa inasimika. 
Sasa kipchumba wewe tafuta generator yako uweke wachana na ile ile watu. Si kijana anajaribu? Tuache kuingilia viongozi buri. Kwa sababu mambo tulikuta ni mengi ilikuwa imeharibika na ndio tunajaribu kurekebisha. Sasa wanataka kutubebesha hiyo mzigo. Na hiyo generator ni yao walinunua pesa mingi wakanunua kitu fake ikiwekwa moto ikiwekwa load kidogo inaanza kutoa moshi. So it, it tells you that the kind of interest that Rigiji is having in the Kalenjin community is so huge and it is futuristic. It is something that is forward thinking or forward looking. So that the earlier he makes the ground the better because he doesn't want anybody to come and run away with the narrative as early as now such that you know for him he will have difficult time coming to consolidate things when we shall have totally different conversation going on so for me i have noted that if there is a game which is being played by um Rigigi and william ruto then it is all about the succession politics which is very key and at the same time perhaps Rigigi compared william ruto that you know what boss you have to start grooming me right now you have to start making me to um you know befriend your community you just have to do your things okay so that i be you know embraced by your people as early as now and so if if we, we see <clears throat> the president actually allowing him we see him trying to say uh, you know we need to talk we need to talk secretly you are going back to what Uhuru Kenyatta said yango kumi yako kumi so the future of any secretive agreement between Rigiji and Ruto is that yango kumi yako kumi and that is the reason why Rigiji wants to maximize it on it as early as now you know one thing about Rigiji is that as he is uh, you know taking his time as the deputy president he is realizing very many things because when 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 we started to see him uh, go into the national politics you know we we dubbed him as a man who did not know how to play the national politics but i think of late there is somebody who is taking notes for him and helping him to make decisions and telling him what to say at specific times and to take advantage of the audience i think that is very important and he is kind of trying to camouflage not camouflaging but metamorphosize into a new man that we we never thought those who are thinking that rigiji can be just be a passing cloud in ruto's first term i think you will need to wake up from that slumber because rigiji might be here until 2042 because 2032 he might be the one being preferred so if every strategy goes on if every strategy goes on as planned then it is all about the succession politics now you talk of the likes of um, musali mudavadi because every time you bring in the aspect of how can musali mudavadi no how can rigiji get closer to william ruto you must also bring musali mudavadi because there are two conflicting forces here that will definitely fight to take the attention of William Ruto. So Musalem Mudavadi has been put into a, a fix. He has been thrown into a, ma a fix. And the fix is he must fold his party and join the bandwagon. If he doesn't fold his party, he will be shown the door. Or he will just be there uh, to remain being seen and not to be heard. Like we used to see uh, that Musalem Mudavadi was very much better placed when the president attends some serious events. Right now, he has been taken to the foreign nations every time he's traveling outside.